Good morning, my name's Andy Coyle. I'm going to show you this very cool 1994 Ford Mustang Bondurant race school car. This car was built uh, by Ford and the Bondurant school for a school car. And what that means is these cars were built for daily track use. They made them bulletproof, they made them fast, and they made them safe. And this particular car was taken out of the school in, I believe, early 2000s and sold to a private individual who ran it in, in, uh, at Willow Springs and other local tracks as a track car. These are potent cars. These have, uh, I'm not sure, 4.6 liter V8, I believe. Uh, Four-wheel disc brakes, but they're really built like you take the best of a road car and you make the best of a track car. So this is uh, the battery enclosure. There's a fuel cell underneath. Those are two tanks for uh, fire retardant. It's a Hobbs meter showing right under 2,000 hours. <coughs> Cars and bodies in really pretty good shape. Uh, this car has a VIN number, but it does not come with a title sold on a bill of sale, which is typical of race cars. This, these are Cobra and West Coast racing events that uh, this car ran recently. You can see May uh, 2021, October 21. There is a VIN number. Uh, but these cars were provided to the Bondurant School by Ford, and then they were purpose-built. They did make a lot of changes, including cooling, obviously power, a full roll cage. All the incidental stuff has been removed. Fire extinguisher, battery on, off. These cars go like stink. And even though it's really a race car, it's pretty damn close to the street version, theoretically. So you turn the battery on, you hear a clicking back, clutch down, just like a normal Mustang. It's, it's a little cold blooded until it gets warm. Just go for a quick drive. This car comes with extra brake calipers
that Daco racing gas and it's like I'm ready to bolt it in and go racing. It just brings it all back. Anyway, this is a great car. And you know what's is interesting is very re very recently, unfortunately, Bondurant passed away. And I'm not sure if you know, but Bob Bondurant was part of the Shelby. Bondurant was part of the Shelby uh, Le Mans effort, infamously covered in the movie recently. And he was regarded as one of the best road race drivers in the world. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to his school in like 83, 84, and he scared the shit out of me, just like many people in his famous lap around Sears Point in an extended Ford van. Might Google it, it's pretty funny. Anyway, this is a great car with great heritage. It's a great, I think in some areas, not California, but some lenient states, you could make the car into a road, into a street legal car. You need to put street tires on it. These are race tires, slick. But it turn signals work, some of the ventilation works. Those are new uh, discs in back of a five point harness. And these cars are, for a track car or a collector car, these are great cars because they're easy to maintain. They're relatively cheap, and I think now, in light of Mr. Bondron's passing, there's a big upside in these cars. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.